give up showing off your fancy food work. Come and cut your cake. We're all hungry. A cake? <laughs> a revolutionary cake. More ingenuity than raisin. <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? We get a cake and who gets to divide it up? The capitalist. He's not cutting the cake because he's a capitalist. He's cutting it because it's his birthday. That's how things used to be, Dmitri. Everything used to depend on birth. Yes. If you were born a noble, you got that much. Mm. No, if you were born a peasant... Or a worker. You got that much. <laughs> That's feudalism for you. The tar is gone, we're through with it. Whereas if you wisely decide to become capitalist, oh, then the guy that bakes the cake gets the nice big slice because he's smart no. and genius. But the workers who actually did the mixing Get the little teeny bits. Mm. So the way to achieve justice is... Through socialism, well, the smart capitalist can bake the cake, but the government, in this case me, makes sure he gives the workers an absolutely fair share of it. Mm. <laughs> Word work, Rosa. The capitalists are too smart for that. Uh. <laughs> if you try getting the cake away from them, it fall into pieces. <laughs> no. The people must bake the cake and the state must divide it up equally so everyone gets a fair share according to what he needs. And that's what communism is all about. And this is anarchism. In practice. <laughs>